Hi friends, it's Polly from Paratio Printing. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm gonna help you with some advice on how to set up your weekly layout in our 2020 Dream Planner and give you some tips and tools to get the most out of it. So back in 2014, I created this Dream Planner because honestly, I really needed an accountability tool to help me redesign my life. At that time in my life, my life was a complete and total mess, and I was inspired by Erwin McManus's book, The Artist and Soul, and he said that we were created in the image of God, and because we're in his image, we are artists, and our life is our canvas, and our life is our most important work of art, and it's truly in our humanity to dream and to risk and to create. And so I really got serious about redesigning my life, starting with my priorities, planning with God, dreaming with God, and I created this tool to help it all kind of happen. And so I truly believe you're an artist and that you can use this planner to dream with God and to plan with God and to create really healthy habits that help you become the person you want to become in this next season of life. So before I hop into these tips, I also want to just say thank you so much because because of your partnership with us, we've been able to donate over, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but as of right now, we're at like $57,000 to fight human trafficking. So we partner with A21, and A21 is an amazing organization that fights human trafficking globally, and they do such an incredible job. So if you're not following A21, go follow them right now. They're doing incredible work. Um, and we're just so thankful to be partnered with them and supporting them. So 10% of your purchase went straight to A21. So thank you, I could not do this alone. So let's set up your dream planner. First, I wanna give you my top three tips on your dream planner. Number one, make space to invite God in the process. Before you sit down to plan and write down all your urgent things and everything you have to do for the week, Pray, get quiet, create space really to, um, to dream with God. So that, that's my first number one. Number two is to reflect on your wheel before you plan out your week. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you definitely need to go into the front section of the planner and fill out your wheel. So it's right behind um, the bucket list. So we have the bucket list and the canvas, and then we've got the wheel. So this is your split, your space to assess where you're, how you're doing in these categories and then declare who you want to become in all categories of your life. Like spiritually, physically, relationally, professionally, financially, and personally. So I have a whole tutorial setting up how to do this. And what this does is this creates boundaries and priorities so that you can truly step into who you are called to become this year. And when you're um, setting up your week, it's important to start with these priorities versus starting with all of the urgent demands you have from the outside world. Um, it's important to start with the priorities you have from God based off of who you are becoming and also being intentional into the areas we're filling the weakest. This will help you to feel more restored. Our word for the year this year is restore and it's our prayer for you that you can live this year um, healthy and restored because the truth is we can't pour from an empty cup. We have to take care of ourselves emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially. We have to take care of ourselves so that we can be generous, so that we can live out our calling. So go fill out the will if you have not and then use that will as a reflection before you plan your week. That's my number two tip. Number three tip is to get messy, have fun, and ditch perfectionism. Seriously, I want you to take perfectionism, put it in a box, shut the box, tape the box, and then I want you to throw it out the window. Just chunk it out, okay? We don't need perfectionism. Honestly, you don't need perfect handwriting. If you want to see terrible handwriting, my handwriting, terrible. If you thought, oh, I thought Polly was a calligraphy artist. I'm not. I'm not a calligraphy artist. Um, I hire people for that, thank God. But... The truth is it's really important for your brain to see your own handwriting, okay? We don't need to worry about being perfect. Like my whole life is, is a Pinterest fail, okay guys? So just 
the point is to use it. The point is to get use out of it. So write, stop judging your dreams and your goals and your actions before you even write it down. You have to give space to let God work through you. So I just wanna encourage you there to ditch perfectionism, get messy, have fun, and have a time once a week that you do that, that you carve out that time to plan your week. I like to do it on Sunday night. So those are my top three dreams. Invite God, reflect on your wheel, and get messy, ditch perfectionism, have fun. So now I'm gonna dive into the horizontal layout and show you how I like to use it. Okay, so our horizontal layout comes in these three different planner styles, the blush, the black lay flat, as well as the white marble coil. So I'm gonna show you in the white marble coil um, how I like to set up the weekly layout. Now, if you want any help on the front sections like dream planning, personal growth, um, the refocus cloud, generosity planning, all of this stuff, we have a tutorial for each and every exercise. So you can feel free to check out those on our resource page. They're also in our YouTube channel. Um, but this video is just showing you how I like to use the weekly layout. So. The horizontal weekly layout has the to-do list on the left and then the week at a glance on the right. So this is how I like to do it. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just my favorite way. So on the left side, the first thing I like to do when I'm setting up my week, um, well, the very first thing I like to do is go back to my wheel and remember what are the personal growth things that I'm focused on for um, for the week, but I already mentioned that, so I'm not gonna go over that too much, but that's the very first thing. And then as I'm setting up my week, I like to really start and really focus on the verse. The verse for January 6th is, um, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So I like just take a moment and really reflect on my verse of the week. Now for my to-do list, what I like to do is break up my work to do and my personal to do's. And then I put a, to, a actual um, due date over here on the right. So I put like this, I wanna have done by Monday. And some things, you know, I don't really put a due date just cause I don't wanna like stress myself out too much with things that aren't super um, time sensitive. So that's what I like to do over here. I'll just kind of zoom in. So I make a little bracket here, or I color code it, um, but that just kind of helps me break out. All right, like, now it's time to do my work. Now it's time to do some of my personal stuff. And then for my weekly layout, I really like to break up my day, even though it's horizontal. I like a little bit of a vertical um, style. So I draw this line down the dot grid, which is super great to make it straight for my mornings and my evenings. So I can see all my evening plans here. I can see all my morning plans here and all my middle of the day plans there. Um, and then of course, Saturday and Sunday has plenty of room. It's almost double the space. Um, so you've got plenty of space to write down any appointments you've got there. I like to write in what my morning routine's gonna be. I can quickly see all my night stuff. And that's pretty much how I like to set up my week. Um, keep as much white space as possible and just put appointments here um, and have my to-dos over here. And then also there's space down here to create a habit tracker if that's something you're interested in. Um, the four habits I'm working on is making sure I'm doing enough water, 10,000 steps, that's my new goal, reading the Bible every day and then getting seven hours of sleep. So I can track that, I can use the dot grid to make a little graph, um, put Monday through Sunday in there and just track my habits. So that's how I like to set up my weekly layout. I hope this is helpful for you. I'd love to see how you're setting up your horizontal layout. So make sure you tag us when you post your video. Um, and I just wanna encourage you to also use your praise report. Each month we've got a praise report at the end of the month for you to really write down anything that you're thankful for. This isn't just if a big goal happens, but anything you're thankful for so we can always be um, you know focused on Thanksgiving in our hearts. So I hope this has blessed you um, and remember your purchase really matters. We gave 10% of your purchase to fight human trafficking through our partnership with 821. So I just want to say thank you for that and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye guys!